Our meat and dairy industry is the main income earner for New Zealand. Without it, New Zealand would be in deep economic trouble. One of the main threats to this industry could be a lethal disease outbreak. There are many diseases that can harm cattle, but there are a few deadly ones such as mad cow disease and foot and mouth disease. Mad cow disease in this country. First new case of the disease found in a cow since 2006 here. These diseases could possibly wipe out every single cow in New Zealand, which would destroy the New Zealand economy. The symptoms or signs of mad cow disease are loss of weight, mental issues and problems in the brain. Foot and mouth is also another lethal disease that can affect cattle and other hooved animals. The symptoms or signs are blisters around the hooves and tongue. There is no cure for it so we hope we don't get it in New Zealand. If cattle do get infected, they have to be destroyed. It is estimated that the cost of an outbreak in New Zealand of a disease would be at least $10 billion. New Zealand would be ruined since our meat and dairy exports make up 40% of all our exports. Many jobs would be lost because the companies could not pay workers since the disease had infected the cattle. The disease could easily be transmitted to humans as well as other animals, so we would have quarantine areas so they could not catch the disease. The New Zealand government has created a plan called CIMS, Coordinated Incident Management System, which is a system used to deal with an outbreak of any disease. The first thing to do is to stop the disease spreading. With a serious disease such as foot and mouth, this would involve a combination of quarantining and culling the animals with the disease. So what would happen in Nati if there was an outbreak of a deadly disease? In breaking news, we have just received information from the Harder Complaints about a devastating discovery of mad cow disease. We will now cross light to Will Smith. Will, what is the story? That's right, I'm here in the middle of the Haraki Plains, a few hundred metres away from where the disease was first discovered. We cannot come any closer than this for safety reasons. Thanks Will, we will now cross the line to Owen. Owen, can you tell us what the farmers who haven't been affected yet are doing? Yes, I am here with a local farmer whose farm has not yet been affected by the lethal disease. So Bert, how does it feel to be one of the lucky farmers whose farm has not yet been affected by the disease? It's not really lucky, mate. I'm checking my stock 24 7. Uh, quarantine, everything is coming in and out. And my neighbour thinks personally I've got the disease. Thanks, Owen. We now have more information on this serious situation. We will cross live to Declan. Declan, can you tell us how this has affected the local butchery? That's right. I'm here with Trent, the local butcher, and well, his empty shop. So, Trent, how are things going for you right now? Uh, it's not very good right now. Probably have to close down my shop because no one wants to come and buy this meat and uh, not they won't even touch the imported meat either, so not looking good. Thanks Trent, I'm sure most butchers will be closing down too. Thank you Dick. Many schools in the area have lost lots of students due to an outbreak of BSE. We will cross live to Keegan Walsh who is at Nardi Primary School. I have here Deputy Principal of Nardi Primary School, a school in the affected area, Melissa Carl. So Melissa, how is this affecting you and your school? It's actually having a really negative effect on our school. We are losing a lot of students. Um, probably about 50% of our school role has gone due to the BSC outbreak in our area. Um, the local people are moving away, so in town and the farming community. Um, so they're just trying to evacuate the area. Um, so we are not going to have many students left. Um, not many families left and it's not going to be a very good outcome for our school. We're losing teachers as well as students as well. Thank you for your time Melissa. Back to you Mitchell. Well, that's all we have time for now. We'll have another update shortly. I'm Mitchell Harris and this has been Harry Complains News.